I have an obsession with liquid lipsticks or matte liquid lipsticks and um, for those of you who have known me for a while I've been wearing liquid lipsticks just about every single day and it's usually always the same red tone I asked like Caitlin like a few days ago um, what her favorite what her favorite makeup item is and then I remember she asked me and I was like eh, I don't think I have an obsession with anything I mean I like all makeup all the same but I just definitely don't think that mascara is like my number one favorite which is most girls favorites and then she's like actually you know what I think I'm gonna start with my favorite so the one that I recently got from Too Faced is this one right here it's the melted matte liquefied matte longwear lipstick and the color is called lady balls and it's the one that i'm wearing right now on my lips i'm really picky when it comes to matte liquid lipsticks it has to be the right formula it has to be super matte it has to dry down quickly even the doe foot applicator has to be the perfect doe foot applicator it can't be too fibrous it has to draw a perfect line it has to pick up the perfect amount of product so this one right here is just absolutely perfect it checks off every single thing that I need in a liquid matte liquid lipstick. So the doe foot applicator itself actually has a little dip right in the center so that it kind of collects more of the um, product. So it makes it a lot easier to just um, pick a product and apply everything on your lips in one coat. The um, texture of it is kind of moussey but it's a little bit more on the liquidy side. So it's easy to apply, but it's not too runny, which I really like. So yeah, this is my number one at the moment, and I've been wearing this every single day. The only thing that I would change to make this even more perfect is to add a little bit more um, orange to the color itself, because it gives you like more brighter, fresher look. So where this is lacking, I like this one from Sephora brand, and this is the, um, I think it's just called Cream Matte Lip Stain. No, Cream Lip Stain. And the color I have is always red. It's the number one. And this one I've been wearing for a couple years now. This used to be my retail lipstick. Like every single time I go to work, I would put this on and it would just brighten up my face. And it's just the perfect red tone for me. The texture is really nice too. It really seriously lasts um, through meals. And I've eaten in a salad using the Too Faced one and it stays on all day and everything. So this when it comes to formula, I would say it's a very similar formula. The color on this one I really like. Um, it's like my holy grail color. The price is really good too. I believe it's only like $13 or $14. My only gripe with this is that it doesn't, or the doe foot applicator doesn't pick up enough product. The texture is moussey, so I think it just needs like a bigger wand in general with like a more pointy tip so that you can draw a precise line. And the other thing that's huge for me is that the packaging isn't so exciting. This Too Faced one, whenever I pick it up, I'm always super excited to put it on because the packaging is so exciting to me. When it comes to this texture of the Sephora one, this is a bit more of a dry mousse. So um, it dries down immediately after you put it on and just stays put. So you can get a really precise line. The only thing that would make this a little bit better is that if the tip itself was a little bit pointier, um, just so you can like really draw in those creases and whatnot or like the really fine points So I really like this. I think it's a good bang for your buck The only thing that I would change about this is the packaging because the packaging isn't exciting to me The next best formula for me would be the Stila Stay All Day and the color I have here is Fiery number one Only thing about this is that the texture of it kind of feathers a little bit um, the color is beautiful, it's a nice vibrant red, a little bit more on the blue tone side. One thing that I would change about this is uh, I would make the packaging a little bit more stout. If the applicator tip was a little bit shorter, then it would be easier to apply. So if you just made this whole packaging in general a little bit more stout, then you can really get a precise line. The great thing about this is that when you flip it over, there's like a thin line and then you can turn it around and it's like thicker so you can really fill in your lips super quickly. Um, the texture is like a, a little bit moussey. So it's a good formula, it's a good texture, it does stay all day. It doesn't last as long as a Sephora one. I wouldn't recommend eating like a greasy burger or like a salad with a lot of oil in it though. Next one I have here is the one from MAC. And this is the Retro Matte and the color feels so grand. And the thing that I love the most about this applicator is that it's so stout, you know, it's nice and short. So in comparison to like the Stila one, you can see it's just a lot easier to apply. When it's shorter, it's just easier to control. And then also, the tip itself comes to a point. It's almost like a sickle cell, so it just makes it so much easier to apply directly on your lips and then line your lips with the product itself. The only thing that I would say to improve on would be 
make the formula a little bit more long lasting because this formula isn't very long lasting in comparison to the other ones that I have here. This really could be the holy grail, but the formula just isn't as great as like the Sephora one or the Too Faced one. The next one I have here is the Kat Von D one. So this formula itself is a little bit more on the drier side. It's also another like moussey formula, I would say. Um, so just like all the other ones, including the MAC one, it's moussey so it's easy to apply. The only thing again is that the tube itself is so long so the the wand like the applicator wand in comparison to the mac one you can see it's just super super long so it's kind of awkward when you're applying this especially if you're in a rush it's like all the way down here so it's really hard to get a precise line the doe foot itself is nice though so it stays pretty clean the i don't know what you would call it the fuzzies or the bristles it's nice and short so you can get a like a precise line the only thing is that because the applicator wand is so long, you get kind of wavy gravy every once in a while, so you do have to retrace your steps every once in a while. So this formula is great. It's a little bit thinner. It's a little bit more on the drier side, so it does make me kind of dry out a little bit, but it does stay for a long time. Um, only thing I would change about it is to make it shorter, the packaging more stout, so I would reach for this more. The next one I have is that I was really excited about. I like waited online and everything for it. This is the Kylie one. And it has like a huge cult following. Um, everyone loves it and everyone raves about it. The color I have is called Mary Jo K. And I was so excited to try this. And you know what? I'm hugely disappointed. The formula itself is nice, but the applicator wand is so fuzzy. It's like the fuzziest of all the ones that I have here. To get a precise line, it's like almost impossible. So you have to use her lip liner which is such a bummer, so you do have to get the whole kit. The scent of it reeks of like a licorice, but just too much licorice, I would say. I wore it two days in a row, and I wore it to this event, a poolside event, and everyone like complimented me on it. The color is really nice. Um, I would say that this formula, in general, lasts the longest, but it's very drying, and then when you wash it off, it does come off in like little chunks in the center, so it's almost impossible to take off. My one true complaint about this would have to be that her applicator itself, she just needs to work on getting a better applicator. Um, even though it's like long and everything, I, I can look past that. But the fuzzy applicator is just, it's a no-go. I mean, like, if you're gonna spend that much money on a liquid lipstick, you should have a really nice precise point. So if she had the same point as the MAC liquid lipstick, and then also maybe take off the fragrance, yeah, because it's just so strong. Um, and maybe add a little bit more orange to the color. This is a more blue tone lipstick. So if you're looking for like a lipstick that would make your teeth look white, then I would say this is a nice one. I applied this on and then I fell asleep with it on and when I tried to take it off in the morning, um, it did not come off in the center. So I just had to reapply it over again and wear it for the rest of the day. It was impossible to scrub off. So if you're looking for something that will last all day, um, and then some, and then over drinks and cocktails and meals and whatnot, then I would say this is a really good one. Just remember to get a lip liner for this. The formula on this is a bit more liquidy, so it's still kind of moussey, it kind of gives a little bit. The only thing is that it's a little bit on the liquidy side, so if you apply it in a rush, then it will flick off and get on your shirt and whatnot, so just be careful with that. Um, if you're looking for something that's comparable to this, um, I would say the ColourPop one is really nice. This is the most liquidy formula, I would say. It's the most watery, so you really do have to be careful, but it dries down to a really nice thin matte. I posted a photo on Instagram where I was wearing the Sephora one, and I asked everyone uh, which red liquid lipstick or which red matte liquid lipstick would you recommend, and a lot of people actually recommended this one, so I got it. The color is called Creper. And I wore it a couple times. The only thing that about this formula that I didn't like was that it's not a moussey formula, so it's not really that easy to apply for me. And it didn't last as long as any of my other liquid lipsticks. And when it came off, it came off in like little bits and chunks and stuff like that. So I didn't really like that. My favorite thing about liquid lipsticks is that when it, it doesn't really get on your teeth, and when it does, it you can wipe it off super easily. With a more liquidy formula like this, once it gets in your teeth, it just kind of swipes everywhere, so you really have to like brush your teeth to get it away or to get it off. Um, 
So that's the one thing that I found annoying about this. The formula is a little bit more on the dry side, but if you're looking for like a cheaper um, liquid lipstick, this is only $6, so it's totally affordable, and it's very similar to the Kylie Cosmetics formula. So I would say, even the packaging is very similar. Look at that. So I would say if you want the Kylie one and you can't get a hold of it, then get the ColourPop one. And the last one I have here, I literally only used once. This is the Matte LA Girl Matte Flat Finish pigment gloss and I don't know what it was about this one. Oh, that's what it was. So it's a moussey formula. The applicator is perfect. Like you couldn't get a better applicator than this. Just a very precise applicator. Only thing is that I don't know why the formula is so dry that it just creates chapped skin it's for me. Um, and then it flakes off in certain parts, but this is like super cheap. I think it was only like $4. It doesn't have a scent. I only wore it once, so I can give you like a thorough um, description of it, but this color is called Scarlet and it's like an old Hollywood color. I don't know, I think I might just try it in a lighter color or more like bright red color and then see how that goes. I also tried like a skin tone, flesh tone color and I got like this ring around the inner corner of my lips or around the inner part of my lips where it, it was just like a white ring of like dry skin. It just looked disgusting, so I didn't like that one. But I didn't get it with the darker colors for some reason. Um, if you're in a drugstore, then try this out. Let me know what you think. And then if you have like a brighter color, like a orangey red, let me know if that turned out nice. Yeah, so that's my review on all the matte red liquid lipsticks that I have. This is my red matte liquid lipstick obsession. I actually gave a few of them away, so I have a lot of sisters and I also a lot of these are actually Caitlyn's because I gave them to her. If I had to recommend any of these to purchase, I would say the Too Faced one and the Sephora one is the best or is my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!